uh, I thought let's make a tutorial today about uh, how I made this plugin. This plugin looks like this. It gives, uh, you can select part of a brightness from the video and then play around. It will be filled with the lines and you can play around with how many lines and the thickness, etc. Um, I made a simp I made this in wire and I would like to show you guys how I did this. This is the complete patch, but let's make this patch uh, over. So let's start new. Um, we have to start with lines, of course, and the lines we can make with a grid pattern. Uh, we take one column and let's say 100 lines and let's make a input for the thickness. Let's call this a thickness. And let's make that go from 0 to 10. So now we should have a line pattern. So that's step one. Step two is how do we get the little the brightness? The, how do we select part of the image by its brightness? So we want to get a texture in. And on the texture, we would like to compare uh, compare what comes out of the texture to a number and we use the within. So you can see now if it's within zero if it's between zero 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 and one 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 it will come out here. If I put in that this should be zero point eight let's say 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and we want this to be 1. Now we see that it only selects the brightest parts of the image. So that's what we like to have. Uh, we can make this into f two faders as well. So we take a input, uh, a input, um, but this is a float for and we only the this is the alpha channel that can stay at one so we only need a float three to uh, change these to uh, change these uh, numbers so what we can do is do a two float three and then we go to a float four bear with me guys and we put this one on one so this has now zero, 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 0001. We can put this on the minimum. And let's copy all these three. And put this on the maximum. So now we can see here we can select the maximum value and we can select the minimum value. So this gives us what we're looking for. Let's clean this up a bit. Let's call this uh, min amount and max amount. Um, select control, uh, control L will clean up the thing. So this makes it nice and clean. What do we want now? Now we want to have the parts that you see here, we want to have filled with lines. So that means that we want to use this as a mask for this. So we need a mask. We mask, we use this as a mask for the lines. So now you see we already have something. So if we change the min and max amount, you see we fill out this with lines. So that's quite cool. 
but we also want to see the original image, of course. The original image is here, but we only want to see it on places where we don't uh, where there's uh, where we don't see lines. So that means that we have to mask this one as well, also with this, but with the inverted version of this. So if we copy this mask, and uh, we use this with, and we use the invert, now you see it, here we have lines, here we have a hole, so this together will show us what we want. So to show that we can just select both, say Command L or Control L on a PC to join them together. And now this is actually really the effect that we that we're after. We can already make the thickness, we can change the thickness, we can change the amount. So we're almost there. And what do we like to do more? Well, it's nice to have a background on here. So we can make a solid, a solid color. And the solid color has a bypass as well. So we can turn it on or off. So let's expose these inputs. So this is going to be background color and this is going to be background on I hope you guys hear me well uh, background on but uh, now it is uh, uh, off when it's on so we would like to flip that around that we can do easily by saying minus so now this says through, uh, through, uh, and which is one, and on this side this is zero. So now it is false, so it's not bypassing. And now when it's off, it says false, but here it says true. So we would like to join this color behind this. So we need to have extra input here. These go this the <clears throat> the first number is the bottom is on the bottom. So what we would like to have is first the solid color, the background. And then we would like to have the original image. And then on top of that we would like to have the lines. So all together now we get this image. Uh, let's see what else can we do. Well, we have to merge this all together into one texture. We can use a merge for that. And then we of course have to make this to go to a texture out, otherwise we cannot have images. So now this is basically the effect. Let's make the background black. What else can we do? We can make the, we can have a line color. So we could here, these are the lines. We could just put in a colorize. So now the lines are red. Let's make a little bit of space. Uh, what do we want to select from this? We just want to have the color. Uh, but these lines are already white, so if the color selected is white, this thing doesn't have to be on. So what I always try to do, because most effects have a bypass, what I always try to do, if I'm not using them, turn them off. So the easiest way of doing that is just put this say if this is equal equal to white this is just white is just a numbers and the number for white is one 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 if it's equal to white 
then you're true. And if you're true, that means that you bypass the color effect. Just something really simple, but if you do this for all your patches, this will definitely save you some resources, some memory and stuff, and get your frames per second up. <clears throat> so now we can change the color of the lines. What else can we do? Well, we could uh, rotate the lines as well. That's a cool, uh, a cool feature. How, how do we do that? Well, we have the lines here, of course. So we could make a transform and then just rotate, expose this and rotate the lights. Um, the rotation is just go is one circle from zero to one, but I always use rotation from minus five of minus 0.5 to 0.5 altogether. That's also one. So now we can rotate, but this gives us a little problem. You see, it doesn't fill out the space. So how do we solve this? Well, we can easily solve this by resizing the lines. We can resize it with the node resize. And we resize it to twice the size. And then we say the mode, you see that now it's twice the size, but the thing is not filled to twice the size. So we say fit. And now we can rotate this. Still, you'll see that it doesn't work. But if we put another resize behind it, which resizes it back to the original uh, to the original resolution. Now, if we rotate, we rotate the whole lines without seeing edges. So that's cool. So we now have the thickness of the lines, the rotation of the lines, the mid and max amount, and of course, we would like to have the amount of lines, which is actually the amount of rows in the grid. So if we expose those and we call those lines, and let's say, uh, let's give it a maximum of 300. I think we're about done though. This is the effect. Let's clean it up a bit. Let's select everything. Control L. Uh, I think, oh, uh, oh no, there's one more thing that I had. And that is now these edges are quite hard. We could, of course, blur the mask of the lines. So what we could do is here, this serves as a mask. So in between here, we could put a blur. A blur. And what I always do is just pump this all up and only put a fader on the distance. Let's call this edge blur. Um, on the distance. And again, if we don't want to use this blur, we can turn it off by exposing the bypass and saying if edge is zero, we don't we want to have it bypassed. So like we did uh like we did with the before with the color white uh or here with the equal what we can do again here is say if this is equal to zero then means it's true and true is the same as one 
and that means that this is bypassed. So now it's off. Uh, only when you open up the blur, it will be on. So I think this concludes my um, my tutorial. I think we're there. This is exactly the effect like I uh, made them, and you can download it uh, down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too fast and not too slow either. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll see if I can help you out. Good luck with building this.